Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 4. So today, guys, I'm going to be bringing you a video of, of the rundown of Dennis the Companion's uh, kind of like dialogue tree. You know how like each companion, when you do certain things that they like, they will admire you, they will idolize you, etc. Um, and they have kind of like these quick little chats with you. So, um, this is that. This is the compilation, kind of, uh, of what that companion says, um, from going from admires to idolized, which is the max um, thing. I mean, in a nutshell, it's them kind of just pouring their heart out to you. So that's awesome, but also it kind of shows you their, their tender moments, you know, their weak points, their high points, etc. Um, so that's kind of cool. It gives you a little more respect for the companion slash character itself. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. I, I think I'm just going to leave you and, and you guys to go watch it, hopefully, unless you don't want to. In that case, I understand. That's fine. But but yeah, yeah good, good talk. All right, let's go. Paddle and dance, by the way. That's what we're doing. Boom. Would it be possible to speak off the record for a moment? Absolutely. Go ahead. Thank you. This is difficult for me to say, so I hope you'll bear with me as I try to get through it. When you were first placed under my sponsorship, I had some serious reservations about it. Despite all that, this has turned out to be a rewarding experience for both of us. At this point, honestly, I don't feel like there's anything else I could teach you about being a Brotherhood soldier that you don't already know. It's apparent from your attitude and your actions that you intend to keep those ideals close to your heart. I'm flattered to hear this, but I feel like there's more. There is. I'm just not very good at these sort of things. Let me start at the beginning. I grew up alone in the capital wasteland. Spent most of my childhood picking through the ruins and selling scrap. When I was a bit older and had a few caps to my name, I moved into Rivet City and opened a junk stand. While I was there, I met a guy named Cutler. We got along pretty well. Watched each other's backs and kept each other out of trouble. When the Brotherhood came through on a recruiting run, we felt like it was a way out of our nowhere lives. So we joined up. I'm glad you had greater ambitions than just selling junk. Once I saw what the Brotherhood had to offer, there was no comparison. Anyway, about a year after we were posted to the Pridwin, Cutler vanished on a scouting op. It took some convincing, but I was able to persuade my CO to let me assemble a squad and search for him. It took almost three weeks, but we tracked his team down to a super mutant hive. Those wretched abominations had slaughtered everyone but Cutler. He should have been so lucky. The mutant bastards used their FEV to change him into one of their own kind. He wasn't Cutler anymore. I had to... It was my duty to put him down. Are you sure there wasn't anything you can do to change him back? The FEV effect is irreversible. There was nothing anyone could do. Hey, you did what the Brotherhood taught you. Then you understand why it had to be done. Ever since Cutler died, I've seen other soldiers come and go. Some were brave, some were honest. Hell, some were even downright heroic. But I'd never considered any of them to be a good friend. A friend like Cutler was. Until now. It's a good feeling, but it frightens me all the same. Having a bond with someone then losing them. It changes you. I don't want to go through that again. It'll never come to that. I promise. Even though I'm well aware that you have no control over it, I appreciate the sentiment. I just thought you deserved to know how I felt. If you feel that I've overstepped my bounds, I completely understand. Whatever the case may be, I appreciate the fact that you took the time to listen. I know this may sound like a strange question, but tell me, what do you think about Scribe Halen? Scribe Halen? Why? Is something wrong with her? No, not at all. Halen's doing well. I simply wanted to talk to you about her, but I wanted to know what you thought of her first. She's as dedicated as they come. A real team player. I couldn't agree more. But I wasn't looking for an evaluation of her performance as a scribe. I wanted to know what you thought of Halen as a person. As a person? It's not like you to ask me something like that. No, it's not. The truth is... I'm worried about her. Since you and I are getting along so well, I felt like I could confide in you about it, to get your honest opinion. I appreciate that you value my opinion so highly. Tell me what's on your mind. <sighs> Let me explain everything from the beginning. A few months before you found us, one of my men was shot multiple times by raiders. Halen stayed by that knight's side for two days straight, without sleep, fighting to keep him alive. But he was on a slow decline. I decided that his suffering needed to end, 
and ordered Halen to administer an overdose of painkillers so he could die with dignity, even though I'm certain she wanted to continue fighting for that knight's life. <sighs> she injected him without question. It sounds like she was simply following your orders. Of course she was. Halen's never been insubordinate. But the decision whether or not to ease that soldier's suffering isn't the point here. The point is what happened later that same evening. Halen approached me while I was on watch. She didn't say a word, but I could tell something was wrong. After what felt like an eternity, she collapsed into my arms, crying. I didn't know what to do, so I just held her for a while. A few minutes later, she stopped, kissed me on the cheek, and simply said, thank you, before heading back into the police station. Right then it hit me. Maybe I pushed her too hard. I ordered her to ignore her instincts, to do something her medical training told her was wrong. That's why I'm worried about her, and for that matter, everyone under my command. Halen will be fine. It's you that I'm worried about. Me? I see what you're getting at. I guess I never thought of it that way. Look, four soldiers. Over half of my team are gone. Each one of them died because of decisions that I made. I understand the risks that come with the job. We all do. But how can anyone have confidence in me anymore? Hell, how can I have confidence in myself? The way you held Halen tells me you care about them. And they care about you. I... I never thought of it that way. Well, it looks like things have taken a turn. I signed up to be your sponsor, so I teach you everything that I know. But it looks like I'm the one that needed the lesson today. All joking aside, I'm pleased that we had this discussion. And with all the problems you're facing, you still took the time to listen. It's comforting to know that I can speak to you as more than just your commanding officer. I'm glad that it's made you feel better, Dance. More than you realize. Anyway, thanks for letting me get that off my shoulders. I think it's been weighing on me more than I realized. I'm only sorry you had to see me at my worst, instead of at my best. Okay, uh, so just in case you are watching this video without watching the... Uh, two video or the video after the last one. Ah, uh, essentially we did Paladin Dance's Brotherhood mission, which essentially in that um, this is a spoiler, so skip the video if you don't want to know this. Like the video is done because there's a bunch of other spo spoiler territory that we're about to get into. Anyways, uh, so yeah, he's actually a synth. Paladin Dance is a synth, and the Brotherhood is out for his head, and you end up convincing the Brotherhood to not kill him, and he is still your companion, and he is grateful to you that you do not see a monster in him as the Brotherhood, and he does. So. Yeah, everyone hates him, except for you, including himself. So that's that's not great, but hey, we change it, so let's see what happens right after that. Ah. If you have a moment, I have something personal I'd like to discuss. Are you okay, Dad? I'm sorry. I really thought this would be easier to talk about. There's so much I wanted to say, but I don't know where to start. Take it easy, Dad. Whatever it is... I'll help you work through it. I don't know if anything will help me work through it. I've spent my entire life, or at least what I perceive as my life, following a plan to shape my own future. But since my banishment, I feel lost. Almost like I exist without purpose. For the first time since that moment I signed up with the Brotherhood, I don't have all the answers. I don't have a plan. And it scares the hell out of me. It's impossible to plan your life. <laughs> hell, I didn't expect to wake up 200 years into the future. Yet you've been able to roll with every punch that's been thrown at you. Don't you understand? Everything I had, everything I knew is gone. In the span of a few hours, my identity was ripped from me and my world turned upside down. At least what you had was something tangible, something real. Your wife, your son. They were living, breathing humans who loved you and cared for you. Those sons of bitches who created me couldn't even be bothered to implant memories of having siblings or parents. I don't even know how much of my own past is artificial and how much is real. Can you even imagine that? I started out as nothing, and I've ended up as nothing. And I don't know what the hell to do about it. I'm truly sorry, Dance. I guess I never realized how deeply this affected you. I appreciate that. I suppose you're right. Maybe I'm just missing the point. My life's starting over. And I need to come to terms with everything I've lost and everything I've gained. 
which includes something important you've made me realize. I don't know if it's friendship or an anomaly in my programming. After all, I'm not really human, but whatever it is, I can't deny that I'm feeling closer to you than anyone else I've ever met. As far as I'm concerned, you're like a brother to me. The best of friends. And I'll do everything I can to live up to it. Look, I know that this has been difficult for you. In fact, I don't envy some of the recent decisions you've had to make. If our roles had been reversed, I'm not so sure I could have handled it as well as you did. Whatever the case may be, I just want to thank you for sticking by me and remind you that what I said before still stands. If you need me, I'll be here for you. Ah, isn't that nice, guys? The Paladin Dance, the big old bear of, of, of soldier and, and all metal and all the stuff that makes up him. Uh, still kind of rough around the edges, uh, but still awesome to see him kind of throw down his guard a little bit. Also, guys, feel free to like or dislike. You can also dislike the video. I'm never good at this. I'm, not, I'm never good at the whole, hey guys, remember like, favorite, subscribe, but hey, some of you guys keep um, hounding me to tell you because you guys, uh, you like the reminder that it's there because some of you guys forget to do it and you're like, oh no, I like the video a lot, but I didn't like the, like the video and I'm like, oh, it's fine. And you're like, no, I won't like it. I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. Ah, okay. So um, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed and like favorites thing and uh, yeah, bye guys. Oh, also, the importance of liking a video is, uh, the reason why it's, it's, like, kind of important to do is because it makes, it tells YouTube that you guys want to see my videos in your sub box. Because if you don't like my video, the system, YouTube, reads it as you not being completely as interested, and it'll take your sub box, and whatever videos you like, it will kind of throw those videos or prioritize those videos in your sub box. So, that's also why it's kind of important to like videos, even if maybe you don't love the video, but you like it because you like that person's content, you want to keep seeing it. So, just, yeah, <laughs> a little knowledge there. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed as always, and the next video will actually be continuing um, doing some supernatural quests, so that's pretty sick. Uh, and yeah, bye guys, <laughs> bye. Got a wink, got a wink. There are hard decisions ahead for all of us, but for you especially, I know that you'll do the right thing.